Brother Rick Eason. I just want to proclaim the Word of God while I'm here. I want to tell you that we live in the last days in a generation that actually is the greatest of all times. The time that God has called for His people to stand up. To stand up now. Because there never have been a time since, since the beginning of the world that God has ever moved in the way He's moving today. We are the last generation. The army of the Lord must now rise. The book of Isaiah proclaims that every man would know God for himself and that we would do great exploits. It's time to let our light shine. And it's the same time during this hour with our powers and spiritual wickedness in dark places at work. They're working not only against us by powers that come against our mind, but also in political powers in our country, the rails around the world. Satan has a plan to formulate, he formulated for many, many years now for a one world government and a new world order. This is our chance that God has given us to put these works to slow, to slow them down to where we'll have time to win some more people in. If you are believing man, woman of God today, you need to take yourself to your prayer closet. Get on your knees before you go to the vote, voting polls and to the place to vote. And you need to vote for somebody that stands up for America and for what we stand for. That's for God, for the kingdom of God and for the, the name of Jesus. Because we've got people from all over the world coming in our area that would love to destroy what God has done in the land of the plenty. And we must now stand for America. If you stand for a liberal person that is for abortion and for destruction of life and for the world order, you need to stand, turn around right now and you need to place your vote when you go to the polling house for Donald J. Trump. Because I know, although he's not a Sunday school teacher, he's not a child of, that walks in the places that we walk. Nevertheless, he's a leader that God has ordained for this hour. And if we will obey God, if you obey God, you're not going to vote for someone that believes in dismembering babies and destroying their lives before their lives even start. Before you were formed in the womb, God knew you. Suppose someone decided to kill you before you were born. Think about it. So we must realize now that now is our chance to stand up as a church, as a people. Don't make no difference what background of denomination you come from. If you've got any moral sense about you at all, and any faith in God, you know that God is not pleased in the direction our country's going in. So I'm asking you to cast your vote for change and cast it for Donald Trump and stick with the Republican Party because now is the time that, that above all others that God needs you to stand up and say no more. No more. But I'm going to stand for the Lord. God bless you all in Jesus' name.